Hello, how you doing? Mike Bradley here. Hope you're doing well as always. Now, scarily, it was a couple of years ago that I uploaded a video about a replica of a 1959 Les Paul. Now, lots of people were interested in that video and it got a lot of people talking. Unfortunately, after about ooh, a few months, it got taken down from YouTube. Uh, it is actually classed as, a, I think, a sexual violation. Though, <laughs> trust me, there is nothing uh, pornographic or anything sexual about it, unless it's just pure guitar porn we're talking about. Now, I was a bit annoyed it got taken down, but you know, life is life, things happen, and I put it to one side. And to be honest, I kind of, for not necessarily forgot about it, but it just wasn't on my radar, because I'm always focused about, you know, the next project I want to do. And I came across the video recently on one of my old hard drives, and I thought, you know what, this is a cool video. I remember a lot of people like it. So I wanted to re-upload it, um, but with this little talk bit at the beginning to just clarify that this is 100% a replica of a famous L type guitar. Um, it does have the big G, the Gibson uh, brand on the headstock. It's very, very naughty, but uh, it's a cool guitar and there's lots of replicas. In a way, it's more of a, you know, it's a celebration of, uh, you know, this fantastic guitar you know so th if this gets taken down again it gets taken down and i may just be talking to myself it might even be taken down straight away but uh one million percent this is a replica so here is a video of what i shot a couple of years ago of this very cool uh you know les paul replica you know tribute of a 1959 les paul and uh uh, it's not my guitar. I would just lent it for you know a couple of months. Basically, I was I was lent it by the guy who built it, and uh, I wish it was mine because <sighs> it's a good guitar. Anyway, let's cut to it. Let's go back to Mike from 2017, 2018, whenever it was, and uh, yeah, love to know your thoughts in the comment section below. Bradley, hope you are doing well as always. So, my avid viewers, um, this guitar has caused quite a stir, hasn't it? So, um, this is a 1959 replica uh, Les Paul, Gibson Les Paul. And my God, what a guitar it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
first thing I should say is that it's not a Gibson. This is a, a handmade instrument, a replica of a 59, a 1959 uh, Les Paul. Um, and it was um, handmade by a local luthier. Um, now, because of legal matters, I he doesn't want me to say his name. <laughs> and uh, because it can be a bit iffy, you know, uh, with Gibson with that. And, you know, understandably so. There are notorious amounts of um, guitars, you know, replica Les Pauls about. There's um, the Max Bursts, um, a guy, I don't know much about them, there's a guy called Max in America, and he made some amazing 59 replicas. And there was the, uh, well, basically Slash's Les Paul. Slash also had a Max, but also he had um, his Appetite for Destruction Les Paul. There's a copy of 59. Uh, the Dering, D-E-R-R-I-N-G, -R -R I believe. Um, and now Gibson do replicas. Gibson do replicas of the replica, but um, so a lot of people kind of have replicas, and this is an incredible guitar. Um, now I'm not going to pretend I know the specs off by heart, so let me get my trusty phone. <laughs> Now I have my trusty iPhone and I imagine by the power of editing you'll be seeing some lovely close-ups of this guitar. And I should say, even though I'm not saying the guy's name, if you drop me a line on my Facebook page, all the links will be in the description box below, I can um, pass you over an email towards him if you did want one of these guitars yourself. Um, obviously you can't have the exact same because obviously of wood and whatnot, you know, it's never the same, but um, he... Um, Oh man, it's an incredible guitar, it really is. So, the specs. It's an old mahogany body and neck, and it's Brazilian rosewood. Now my buddy, Jonathan, hello Jonathan, um, he actually, we were chatting the other day, and he was saying to me actually that Gibson can't use Brazilian rosewood anymore, they've got to use Indian rosewood. So, there you go, there's a, a plus into the 59 category right there, it's Brazilian rosewood. And it's a bound fretboard with the correct size tortoiseshell dots and original spec frets. So there's Royalite binding and cellulose nitrate inlays. It's got a nylon nut and holy headstock veneer. I, I don't know what that is, but yeah. And all the all the glues and the uh, neck and fretboard glued with the hot hide glue. Anline dyes that fade correct. Cherry filler that fades. Uh, nitro lacquer that checks just like the originals does. So very, very thin. And a slight bit of checking. I'll try and get it in the light. Um, but there's this really cool looking um, checking you see in certain bits of light. And when I'm playing here, I can see like the lines coming. It's, it's so cool. This has been faded with all the parts in place as well. So if you take the scratch plate off, I'm not going to, but it's a darker cherry. Let me have a look. I can't, yeah, I can't really see. But if I took the scratch plate off, it'd be a darker cherry. So he's faded it with the parts on. So when you take it off, just like if you, you know, uh, there's Bernie Marsden videos going about and he takes off like um, the pickup uh, ring here and it's like dark cherry underneath. It's so cool. <laughs>
now the pickups are Mojo Beast Buckers. I believe there were Montes in here, but now they're Mojo. With DMC Replica Age Nickel Covers. Montreal Time Machine Stop Tail Bridge and Knobs. Whiz Plastic Replica M69 Rings with correct screws. <laughs> this is all above my head here. Yeah. Uh, retrospect Stop Tail Studs and Bushes. And um, we've got Age Grover Tuners, um, which are very cool. Again, I'll, I'll have some close up for you, obviously. CTS Pots and Bumblebee Caps. CTS Switch for correct deep nut. CTS Jack Socket, 50s wiring harness. Um, basically, it's about a thousand pound worth of parts just on the guitar. And then on top of that, he made everything with his own hands. <laughs> It's a vintage 59 fret scale, which apparently is different to the modern Gibson guitars. more spec I've been sent. Bottom line, it's as close to a 1959 Les Paul as you can get. And it's probably half the price of what, <laughs> if you to buy a Gibson, uh, you know, replica, you know, custom shop thing. Um, like I say, thousand pounds in parts and obviously all the time doing it. So either way, like I'm not a, a, a tech heavy head. Like I say, it weren't for Jonathan saying to me about the Indian Rosewood, I wouldn't have a clue. I just play them. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there we go. I've got more stuff. It's, it's been compared to a 58 Les Paul, I believe, um, side by side. And Phil Harris has played this guitar as well. Phil Harris is a very known vintage guitar dealer, sold guitars to Gary Moore. Um, that's enough to give you credit just there. But he, he's played this guitar and he, he was blown away by it as well, apparently. So... It's a, it's a cracking guitar, man. It really, really is. So you've been hearing kind of sounds sporadically through the video, um, but you know, I'm, I'm really liking the kind of, the both pickups together, kind of knock the volume down. Oh, I love it, you know? And when you, so if, oh, if I'm on the bridge pickup, which is always notoriously bright, if I turn the tone down, the volume goes down a little bit as well. Now, so that's the tone all the way off. Put a bit of boost on. So yeah, that's quite bright. I'll take that boost off. 
So I'd rather tone down to about seven and. Pick up some. Bit again. Zeppelin, you know. Yeah. for days. Is it? It's alright man, so uh, I wish I could 
pass it to you and have a go. I've, people have come around um, for lessons and that. They've been having a go and they're like, not too shabby at all. <laughs> not too shabby at all. So, um, yeah, I've been uh, yeah, lending it for a little while. I've done a gig with it already. Played it on Sunday. Um, the, I nearly said his name then, but uh, the guy who made this, he, he kind of gave it to me and, and said, uh, you know, gig it. I want you to kind of thrash it up a little bit. And I was like, oh, I don't know about that, you know, but I'll treat it how I treat my own guitars. You know, I don't mind my, my guitars getting a bit of dings here and there. Um, so uh, I still I still was careful of it, you know, just how I would be with any guitars. But um, it's great, man. It's, it's lovely. If I put a bit of chorus on... to know your thoughts guys and uh what you think uh i love it um it's not mine a lot of people have been asking have you bought that is this your guitar um no it's not it's been lent to me by uh, the lovely lovely chap who's made it and uh i'm gonna have it for a little while um i may try and get the other mic from the basement up i mean would you like that let me know anyway thanks a lot guys mike bradley and this Beast of a guitar sign out. Take care. <coughs> so there you have it. The infamous video of the 1959 replica Les Paul. Is this the first time you had seen the video or had you seen it before? Uh, it'd be great to uh, know your thoughts as always in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, hopefully this doesn't get taken down this time. So uh, I've been Mike Bradley. Lots of love as always, and yes, I'm in a different room at the moment. <laughs> Lots of love. See you soon, Mike Bradley. Sign out. Bye. The devil's on my side.